Praise the Lord, my dear beloved friends. A warm welcome to one and all of you, and I greet you in the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It's a great pleasure again to meet with you through these sessions, and sorry, making little adjustments here. I'm not a perfect uh, uh, videographer, or not into videography or photography, so I'm really sorry. Forgive me for that. Um, in the previous session, the previous session what we had, um, we had uh, discussed a little bit on this and first of all warm welcome to this short series where we are uh, dealing through many concepts and I am very very thankful that God is really enabling that uh, short series where you could go through certain concepts in shorter formats and at the same time you also tend to understand the depth, right? the secrets, the hidden secrets. So we are picking such scriptures or such references from the word of God which gives you light that there is much beyond than your understanding. There are things much beyond uh, than what you had perceived thus far. You might not have read Bible in this perspective. That's why we are uh, making every effort, conscious effort to take you through such scriptures. right? Genesis 1 and 2 we discussed that at the beginning God created heavens and earth. We spoke about heavens which is plural and we spoke about the word beginning. And in the second verse immediately what you see is that suddenly it became full of darkness, void and without form. And on top of that the Holy Spirit is deployed to who was hovering over the face of the earth and he was protecting the earth. That means something happened in between verses 1 and 2. Today we will be moving from Genesis 1 and 2 all the way to Ezekiel 28. I want to show a few verses. I want to read a few scriptures for you. We will keep it short as usual, 12-13 minutes maximum, right? Or maximum 14-15 minutes. Um, so the, if you see, um, the as I told you in the previous session, there are a lot of excavations, some dinosaur bones, 5 million years and all that. Some generations existed on this earth, right? And our God is known for the rock of, not known to be called as rock of ages, which means he had seen generations after generations. So the way how you could perceive and understand, if you read book of Enoch, book of Jashir, there are a lot of concepts given in this perspective, even book of Thomas, right? There is a book of Thomas available. I got some privilege to read these books and all that, but honestly, I am not able to believe because it's far beyond my understanding. That's why they have kept these books away. But then there are references given. Right? Book of Thomas is not given here. Book of Joshua, Book of Enoch, Book of Solomon, Book of Chronicles, and uh, book, book of David, and uh, Book of Noah. All these things are given. But references. They are all available. In the biblical libraries you can go and take and read. It will be beyond your understanding, beyond our wisdom. Therefore, don't end up reading such books. First read the Bible properly. Right? To read Bible once only, we need the whole lifespan which is not enough. So, my point here is, um, there are, God is the rock of ages, he is uh, God over generations, that's why Revelation 1, when uh, John was able to see Jesus face to face, his hair was like wool. Similarly, when King Nebuchadnezzar had dreamt about the God the Father, his hair was like wool, which shows that he is the rock of ages and he had been the God over generations, right? But the million dollar question for which you and I do not have an answer is simple. Where these generations existed? All of them are existing on earth? I don't know. You also don't know. right? But all of them are existing in Mars, Pluto, Jupiter, uh, all these uh, different planets? I also don't know. You also don't know. Maybe yes, maybe no. But you end up in researching all of this, like how they send missiles and all, not missiles, uh, rockets and all that. And men go and research, they test the soil and the moon and all that. There is water, there is no water and all that. You will be able to find nothing. Yeah. How many years they are researching? Were they able to dwell there? No. That is not made for man. That is not made for mankind. God created the mankind. And he has given the place called as earth. earth. And earth, there is a one-fourth land and three-fourth water. This is your place and you will live there. I can challenge openly, right? Let people go do whatever they want and they are say, taking some trip to Mars and all that. You have, you, have, you have to make reservation. Yeah, You won't get the lot immediately. There are a lot of crazy people. You go there, you don't even know whether you will come back alive or not. Why you are doing such experimentation? 
God has not given you that destiny. If God's will was to make you dwell in moon or Jupiter or uh, Mars or whatever, he would have already given that provision. Then why are you? This is called as being rebellious, transgressing the laws of God, stepping outside the boundaries. It's okay, fine, I'm not deviating. Coming back to the original point. The question is, God is the God of generations. Something existed on earth. That is very clear. That is why God had to remove that generation and fill it with water. See, God's style of removing and uh, abolishing is with the help of water. That's why in the Noah's days also, you will see floods coming and completely wiping the earth. The water stayed more than 200 feet or even more than mountains. Forget 200, not 200 feet, I'm sorry. 150 days the water was there. It covered the mountains, Mount Everest, everything is covered, which means more than 2000 feet or 3000 feet or whatever. And that's God's style of erasing things and creating from the scratch, which means here the concept is water was there, right? Which means he erased something. That means something else was existing. And you know what? Luckily, Bible did not give us the clue, but it gave a direct answer. And the answer is in Ezekiel 28. You know who was living here? Mr. Lucifer. Mr. Lucifer and his gang were the rulers of the earth. That's why he now also entitles himself as I am the ruler of the earth and God also allowed him because that is the truth. That was the truth and now that is not the truth. God allowed him. Why? Because he snatched that uh, dominion given into the hands of Adam and Eve when sin entered. Adam and Eve is no more having the dominance over earth. This guy brought the dominance back. Why? Because once upon a time this earth was given to him and he was the prince of the earth. Yeah, there were a lot of businesses happening on the earth. There were a lot of prominence uh, given to this guy and he was the prince. Those days there was only one prime minister according to the Bible. I'm going to read certain scriptures for you from the Bible. Those days there was only one prince, one prime minister, one president. He was a ruler over the earth. All the nations bowed before him. That was the reason for his pride and that's why he became devil. He thought, since I have complete control over earth, why I should bow to God? I need not report to God. I have the powers. I have the prejudice. I have the beauty. And everybody praised him. And one third of the angels were supporting him. That's why don't get thrilled or don't get overwhelmed in pride and all that. Always be humble. Spirit of humility. Learn from Philippians too. Right? Now, this guy was dealing with a lot of businesses, a lot of nations, a lot of technologies could have been there. Yeah, like how you see today a lot of beautiful cars, a uh, lot of beautiful cities and businesses and ships traveling from one end to the other end. There may be all prominent technologies. If you, uh, if you compare whatever is today uh, living on earth, probably in the days of Lucifer, maybe it is the same or maybe it is beyond that also. That is hidden in our eyes. But God has given us a clear answer and he has given us certain clues that this guy was living in Eden Garden. And that was his headquarters. Now you understand. And the same Eden garden was given to Adam and Eve. And this guy was not able to take it in. Why? Because Adam and Eve became number one adversary to him. Imagine, no, somebody comes into your home and they say that get lost man. They come with some goons and some assassins and all that. Uh, they, they point a gun at your, at your uh, temple and they say that get out. And immediately, oh my God, I need my life. You run away. But when you run away, after a few days, how will your feeling be? Tell me. You will be cursing that guy, don't you? Right? Uh, don't be super spiritual. Oh, no, brother. We are believers. We cannot curse and all that. Inside of you, you will have hatred. You built that house. Somebody kicked you out, man. My brother, my sister. Right? That's very natural. Right? You are going to hate the person to death. If he is dead, no, you will be all happy. This is exactly the attitude of Lucifer. Why? Because he was kicked out and Adam and Eve were brought in and that too they were created in the image of God. Lucifer was not created in the image of God. He was an angel serving God. Servant of God. But we are children of God. Created in the image of God and God's character itself is right inside of us. Soul, about which also I spoke, right? Soul is inside of us. And he's all the more jealous. He's just not able to take it in. But God allowed him to move around. I told this in the first session itself, right? Is the spirit moving around and headquarters is second heaven because the Eden garden has been snatched away and given. And now what happened is Adam and Eve sinned and they gave their dominance back into the hands of this guy. That's why he became ruler of earth again. What a sad story, no? God moved him out 
and created and filled it with water and then he separated created the land with all creations and made adam to name everything every animal every mountain everything he only named and such a dominance was given now this guy sinned because of his wife and wife sinned because of the devil finished dominance given back and he became the ruler of the earth again imagine now god's heart will be you no know, full of hurt very sad for god i feel very sad for god okay now i'm going to read few scriptures from the book of ezekiel uh, verse number 28 and verse number 28 if you read you will see you were the anointed cherubim who uh, sorry it's a little dark here <laughs> were established um and you have you were on the holy uh, mountain of god and you walked back and forth in the midst of the holy stones and you were perfect in your ways from the uh, from, from from you know from from the day you were created till iniquity was found in you so so until iniquity was found in you that's important point by the abundance of your trading you became filled with violence trading notice it was like a trade center earth full of business trading all very busy people prominent technology this and that trading means what they have to sell and uh, take no all these things were happening i will read the whole thing then we will explain okay therefore and uh, what is it filled with violence within which means what he was a he was a corrupt he was, he was involved in corruption today you see all corruption no where you think people got that idea from him only yes he is sending the demons unclean spirits inside the mankind and that's why the corruption is there violence mob gathering killing murdering right nation fighting against nation kingdom fighting against kingdom how all these things happened because that's how he was ruling the earth and violence was there and god couldn't take it in uh, okay and that uh, and therefore i cast you as a profane thing of the mountain of god and i destroyed you o cherubim um your heart was lifted up uh sorry i i forgot to uh, read the verse ezekiel 28 13 you were in eden the garden of god every precious stone was your covering the sardius the topaz diamond full of stones you read it later ezekiel 28 13 eden garden was his headquarters now we all are able to connect clearly no? why he was very angry with god that eden garden my place you gave it to him it was like headquarters you know prime minister's office prime minister's house uh, us president white house and all that no you know where was his white house eden garden and eden garden is ezekiel 28 13 now you all understand your heart was filled with now i am going to ezekiel 28 17 your heart was filled up with uh, lifted up because of your beauty um, you corrupted your wisdom for the sake of your splendor i cast you in the ground i cast you to the ground i laid you before kings and they might gaze at you you defiled your sanctuaries and the multitude then i brought you from the midst and devoured you and i turned you to ashes upon the earth in the sight of all who saw you and all you all who knew you among the people saw astonished at you you have become a horror and shall be no more forever why you have become a horror because he had fallen like a lightning he has burned into ashes which means imagine you burn it you burn up a burn up a human being and the guy is not dead he is getting up alive full of darkness and all that you know people were scared because he was they were horrified god did not allow him to be destroyed but he destroyed his beauty you all understand huh? now this guy is moving around with all uh, what to say um, hatred in his heart that whom he can devour 1 peter chapter 5 verse 8 you can take and read you will understand he is moving back and forth whom he can devour he is like the prowling lion because why god took away my beauty god took away my uh, charm god took away my uh, you know uh, position god took away my dominance and he pushed me down that's why jesus said i have seen him falling down like lightning luke chapter 10 and verse 17 and he was put in the bottomless pit i don't have time to get into those verses but you understand right something happened in between verse one number 1 and verse number 2 genesis 1 and 2 and this was the incident that happened then god had to cover it you know abolish dissolve everything 
and then I don't know how long that water was remaining, maybe few million years. For God, one day is like thousand years, maybe few million years he left it like that. That's why the age of the soil is 3.54 billion years, which means he left it for some time. And then he decides on one fine day, okay, fine, I will create it now. Now let there be light, let there be this, let there be that. All that there existing before on earth. He did not make them. He made them to come up again. You understand this? God did not create sun again. God did not create uh, the moon again and all that they were there. Just he commanded and all of them came back again. All the creations came back again which were existing during, which, which existed during the time of Mr. Lucifer in Ezekiel 28, right? But God created mankind for the first time. That's what you will see in Genesis 127 and Genesis 27. Now we all understand, huh? That's why I am telling you, don't be scared of the devil, but also don't take him lightly. The guy is moving around with all fury in his heart and gnashing the teeth and this and that. Don't get into all imaginations. Oh, his face is like that, his tan, uh, tan and dark and all that. So, uh, this horror word, don't take it to heart, right? He is only a spirit, he doesn't have any form. And that fellow is a broken guy and he is a defeated fellow. And don't worry, our Lord Jesus' name is there. In the name of Jesus, the demons will tremble, Bible says. Mark chapter 5, you take and read. The demons came trembling to Jesus. Oh, Jesus, why have to come you? Will come to torment us. Oh, and they started to worship him. Worship him. So while worshipping you, you may spare us and all that. Jesus says, go. And you know where they went? They went into the swine and they drowned into the garbage. So forget it. That guy has no power. Don't worry. Great reason within us than that is in this world. That is the Holy Spirit. Imagine, the Holy Spirit was deployed to take care of the earth completely. And this guy had no guts to, you know, wave his tail against uh, the Holy Spirit. That means you can understand how powerful one Holy Spirit takes care of the entire uh, earth. And these fallen angels and the demons and all these guys were trying to come and attack the Holy Spirit. But they couldn't do anything. They are scared of the Spirit of God, the presence of God. Before the presence of God, the hills will melt like wax. The angels bow before Him and the demons tremble in fear. Therefore, do not be worried. But understand the truth. What a privilege God has given the privilege which Lucifer had was taken away uh, again because uh, Adam and Eve sinned. But then the Redeemer came, I say for 43, the Redeemer of Israel came and he gave his life and he shed his precious blood and he had caught back the dominance and you have all sufficiency in everything that you do. There is abundance in every good work that you do because you and I are under the grace of Jesus. Bible says in 2 Corinthians 9.8. Feel that privilege, feel happy for who you are and don't worry, the dominance which Adam and Eve had lost in the Eden Garden had been restored back to us. And that's why you got to stay under the wings, under the names of Jesus, where there, where, where there will be health and healing. Son of righteousness, under whose wings there will be health, which means what? There will be prosperity, peace, wealth and everything. Right? Malachi 4. May God bless us. Hope this was a useful session and I will meet you soon with the next video. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, pray always, read Bible. And meditate Bible. This is how you should read Bible. And now don't uh, look at me, brother. Where did you read this? Which Google site and all that? I did not do any Googling. I meditated and God had spoken to me. You might have heard this message from someone else. But when I heard someone else talking in the same explanation, I was astonished. I am telling you the truth. Right? Nobody spoke to me except the Holy Spirit who revealed. It was all about Holy Spirit. No, He will only talk to us. Then why we need to go around and ask people? Right? The whole book of the Word of God is written by the Holy Spirit. Then why you need to go around? Ask the Holy Spirit. You only wrote, no, please explain me. Beautifully, he will sit next to you and he will explain. Okay? God bless you. Let's pray. Right? God, Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for this wonderful time. Lord, we appreciate your grace and mercy. Thank you for talking to us so straight, so plain and so simply. Lord, you are the one who gave us this privilege. You are the one who gave us this great position and dominance on earth. Lord, help us to lead a life in success and prosperity. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. God bless you. I'll meet you soon in the next session. Bye. Until then, take care.